Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create snapshot replication in SQL Server 2016. We'll be taking a look on when to use snapshot replication, what are the security best practices when we create the replication in SQL Server, and we'll be using replication monitor to check the status of our newly created replication, or if there is any issue, we'll be using replication monitor to find out what the issue is. In this uh, demo, I'm using three set of servers. SQL Prod 1 is going to be my publisher, and I'm using a separate distributor, separate SQL Server uh, instance as a distributor, TBS Prod. Uh, you have an option to use your uh, publisher as a distributor, and then you don't need a separate distributor. Uh, there are some configuration needs to be made if you're using a, a separate distributor, which I'll show you during the demo, and SQL Prod 2 is going to be my subscriber. So let's quickly talk about when to when it is a good idea to use snapshot replication. Uh, number one, when data changes frequency is low, any database that you're replicating to your subscriber, if the data changes frequency is low, it is a good idea to use snapshot replication. And on the subscriber side, if your users are happy to not have current, most current data and can deal with the out of uh, date data for a specific period of time, then it is a good idea to use snapshot replication. Or if your data load happens, uh, once a day or maybe in the evening uh, that uh, your data load large volume of your data load happens and you wanted that data load from your public pu publisher to go uh, to your subscriber so that they can work in the morning or something then it is good idea to uh, create a snapshot uh, replication and schedule it right after your uh, large volume of data changes happen right after your uh, data load is completed and um, during the demo, we'll be taking a look on security best practices and replication monitors. So let me show you my setup right here. SQL Prod 1 is my publisher. TBS Prod is my distributor. And SQL Prod 2 is my subscriber. So I'm going to publish uh, the da database and articles from SQL Prod 1. And TBS Prod is going to distribute between um, my subscriber. In my case, I have only one subscriber, which is SQL Prod. To. So let's go and set up a snapshot replication. In order to set up snapshot replication, you need to go on your publisher and right click on the local publication, click new publication, click next. Again, as I said that you can use your local server as a distribute its own distributor, as you can see right here, if you don't have a separate SQL server. Uh, in my case, I have a separate uh, distributor, so I'll be using this second option. But if you don't have a separate SQL Server instance that you're using as a distributor, click on the first option and then click Next. So let me click on Add. This is where you need to add your distributor. In my case, TBS Prod is my distributor, so I'll go ahead and connect with the TBS Prod. And we got an error saying SQL Prod is not enabled SQL prod one is not enabled as a publisher at the distributor so this is this error only comes if you're using a separate SQL server instance as a distributor because all the publisher need to be added into in the distributor before you can start the publication so I'm gonna click OK and take care of this error first so we'll go to uh, distributor right click on the replication and click on distributor properties and click on publisher as you can see right now just only the local server is in publisher list so we'll add that the publisher that we want to use in my case uh, SQL Prod 1 so click connect it's saying that uh, this needs to be password protected keep in mind that uh, when you connect from your publisher to distributor you need this password so make sure that uh, when you provide the password, you remember that. Confirm the password. Any publisher that is going to use this SQL Server instance, in my case, TBS Prod, as it, their distributor, that needs to be in this list. Click OK. OK, now we have added uh, SQL Prod 1. Uh, publisher in our distributor distribution database so now I will go back right click maybe I have it already here right there click add 
is my distributor so it's added now before that we were getting an error that it needs to be added on the the sql prod one need to be added as a publisher now the uh, distributor recognize this publisher click next and this is where you need to put the password so i'll give the password this is just for the security reasons click next and now it is at the point where you can add the database you select the database that you wanted to have the publication created click next and this demo is about snapshot replication so we will create snapshot publication in this demo it is already selected click next and now it's time to add the articles so I have two tables that I wanted to add in this uh, replication and I don't want to add any store procedure but you can select uh, any table that meets the requirements to be added in replication you can add that here so click next and if you wanted to run a query to filter by rows you can do it here I'm not going to click next and snapshot agent um, we have options create a snapshot immediately and keep the snapshot available to initialize subscription or we can schedule it for later time so if you wanted to schedule your uh, snapshot uh, at maybe seven or eight o'clock at night you can do the scheduling right now otherwise you can go back and do the schedule again I'm gonna click on uh, create a snapshot immediately and keep the snapshot available to initialize subscriptions I'm gonna click next here's the security Here's the best practice for the security this is my own experience that if you if you should have a separate um, account for your uh, replication in your enterprise that way you, you don't run into the issues of uh, permission issues the, if you click on run as SQL server agent service account this account needs to have permission to go into your distributor um, and um, uh, make some changes and, and all that in order to avoid that you should have uh, a separate replication account that needs to be added in, uh, as a sys database or um, if you don't want to add in sys databases you at least need to give the permission that rep what replication needs um, and uh, this will be creating the folders as well so this account needs certain permissions so I would recommend that get a separate account add that account into your uh, pu uh, publisher um, in the server administrator as well as uh, your um, uh, sys databases uh, sys admin uh, permission on your SQL server that is the easiest fix um, and it since it's a separate replication dedicated account it will be okay to be added in in into those uh, um, alleviated uh, uh, permission uh, container so for me I do have that account so I'm going to use this account for replication. This is your Windows account, so you do need to get a password from your system administrators. If you if you are using uh, agent account, same agent account for all the SQL Server instances in your enterprise, you can it is okay to select run as SQL Server agent account because that account is all over your enterprise or at least the one that you're setting your replication on to click OK click next and it says create uh, uh, the publication if you wanted to generate a script rather than creating it now and taking a look in the in the script and running that script you can create the script right here you can also create the script um, select this script and it will create the publication and give you the script and that can be used as your backup click next and give the publication name for me it's test underscore snapshot so click finish All right, snapshot is created. All right, I'm going to right click and click on new subscription. 
click next and you this is our publisher that is correct click next now you have an option distribution agent location where you want to run your um, uh, distribution agent it is, it is usually run at distributor if your uh, publisher is your local distributor as well then it is okay to click on run all agents at the distributor uh, and in my case it's a separate SQL Server instance run all agents at the distributor as you can see the TBS prod which is my uh, distributor it's all here this is for push subscription if you wanted to have a pull subscription then you need to go to subscriber and uh, click on this run each agent at its subscriber so this will be pull subscription uh, I'm gonna select uh, run all agents at the distributor click next and you need to add the subscriber I'm gonna click on add subscriber add SQL server and in my case the subscriber is SQL prod 2 connect All right, the database over there where I want to have these tables replicated that I selected is DWQ. So I'm gonna select that and click next. And there is the security for the distribution agent security. The best practices is the same that you should have a, a one replication account that you can give your publisher your distributor and your subscriber the same security so in my case I do have a separate account basically the same account that I used on the publisher and click OK click next this is where you can uh, specify a schedule for a synchronization schedule for each agent so you can click on run continuously or you can click on run on demand usually snapshot uh, replication is on demand so you select a specific period and you run your uh, uh, synchronization then so I'm gonna just for this uh, demo purposes I'm gonna click on run continuously and click next and initialize subscri subscription right here immediately in this demo we're going to do the uh, immediate um, synchronization you can set up and not initialize your replication and maybe you can do it later as you can see at first synchronization initialize when uh, the first synchronization happened or available so we're going to click on immediate and click on next and we'll, we'll click on create the subscription and again you have an option to click on generate a script and keep it as your backup click next and finish all right everything is successful with click close and now let's take a look on our synchronization status it says it's initializing at this moment and you can click on monitor and this will open the monitor as you can see right now the status changed from applied script transaction state underscore three dot sch and click on monitor it'll open your uh, replication monitor expand that here you can take a look on your uh, publication whether it's okay or there is an issue you can also view the detail and click on agents snapshot agent is completed subscription is running fine you can right click on this and click on view detail and this is what happened during the snapshot subscription everything looks okay click on publication and this is our uh, subscription so we can take a look just select us if you have multiple subscription you can take a look on uh, each subscription and just see 
or view the detail of that particular subscription. So everything looks good. Let's go and um, take a look on the subscriber side. I'm going to open that and see if those tables are there. All right, these two tables are here. So let's go ahead and uh, add another article. That article will not be moved to your subscription until that's uh, you will get a new snapshot and new snapshot is applied to all your subscription uh, subscribers. In my case, SQL Pro 2. I'm gonna right click on the publication, go to the properties, take a look on the articles. So in my case, there's uh, only two tables right here. So we will add this table as well and click OK. And view synchronization status. This table was already there in the previous, probably the practice demo. I'm gonna delete this one. All right, <clears throat> now let's create another snapshot. You have an option, right click and initialize an uh, replication or you can just create another snapshot if you could click on view uh, snapshot agent status and if you click on start it should create another snapshot and that snapshot should have the table that I just deleted coming from the publisher click OK and let's right click on the table and refresh it and as you can see that table is here dbo uh, message queue so basically this is it for um, your uh, snapshot replication